Hello everyone, welcome to jobskillshare.org help this administrator lab course. In our last video we talked about Spiceworks tools. Most of them were web based and some of them you have to install it and basically to make your job easy. Now we have another tools also just like Spiceworks inventory system. We have PDQ inventory so we have done the video on that. That's membership plus video about installation and what you can do and running your reports. But today specifically I'm going to do this video on PDQ tools. So when you install PDQ inventory and you have the application which is a free application. So let's say you don't want to watch this video which is inventory based and a lot of things in there but you want to get to the tools video. All you have to do is to go to PDQ. So let's go in there right now. PDQ inventory and click here this is the site admin arsenal and just get free inventory mode and download it you'll get the email you need to give your email and then you will install it so basically if you're watching this video for the first time I highly recommend that you watch other videos and because PDQ uh, inventory and spikes force they have to run with a domain environment uh, that's why it's it's that's why you will be using it. I mean, you 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 don't want to use these tools just on one computer. Is no, it won't make any sense. Or maybe two or three computers uh, that you're managing. Yes, you can if you have a same username and password. But this is mainly used if you have a Active Directory environment. So let's go back to our lab. We have an Active Directory right here. This is our uh, app server lab. So people who are taking this lab can follow the same thing to learn about PDQ uh, inventory. So, I'm going to go back to my help desk administrator machine. Oops, I did it twice, so number of connection limited. Okay, so we we have it right here. So now what we're going to do is uh, log into my help desk admin machine right here. And we have inventory, PDQ inventory installed. Uh, this is something that I did in the last video. And, and if you are... Uh, not sure you can always go back to the help desk course and find out how I install PDQ inventory very easy just run it give the username and password for the domain username and password and then you just have it right there and then I scan computers and everything but today this video is only about tools so I'm not gonna go and waste time on inventory stuff so you have all the machines in there specifically I want to talk about what you can do with the tools first of all it comes with some different type of tools like heartbeat which is one of the best features that I think uh, this uh, software have so if I click on the machines let's say here uh, actually let's go to all machines right here this little heartbeat online it helped me so many times if someone call and say hey I can't get to this application something is not right um, you know I can't access it and you and you like okay maybe the system is down let me do the remote desktop connection right you go here you type in remote desktop connection and then you type the computer name and you can log in it's like okay the computer is working I mean what's going on with this you know sometimes I'll come and see that this per this guy right here is not it says no it's not online so the issue is not with RDP the issue with is something to do with some other thing maybe it requires a restart maybe it requires some other you know a weird thing that is happening to the computer that that somehow RDP is saying that it's it's online everything is working you can get into the machine but now so maybe the issue is with there's two ne network cards and one is having an issue maybe this one network card is going off and on and you don't know what's going on so just restart the server and that will fix the issue sometimes right Another thing that they have is really cool. They have tools to fix issues. Like, for example, if you're using Spiceworks and you're scanning computers and you can't access that computer, you can actually fix it by using the PDQ tools. Or maybe you're doing a PDQ scan and you're just trying to like find a computer. Let's say you go in here, you go to Active Directory, and you go to the Active Directory and you find that this computer I want to scan. You go in there and you click OK and start scanning it. But it says we cannot access that computer something is wrong with the firewall so use these tools to fix it what tools am I talking about so if you go to your um, program files right here so let's go to program files C drive program files here and let's look for admin or I think it's in yeah it's in this one admin arsenal PDQ inventory and remote repair 
you know these tools are I think one of the best tools right here if you have spike source issue if you have firewall issues that you cannot access that computer or something is not right all you have to do is to copy this application put it in a USB or maybe one from a shared drive go to that computer and do analyze it will run a little uh, small thing and it will basically go in there and say oh you know your C drive is not accessible your WMI is not accessible this is blocked by firewall it basically checks anything that requires from inventory tools to scan things and this if this can fix this and if you do your uh, spice works then that might also get fixed now I don't know exactly if it's going to fix your issue but try it because it did help me in some situation when I had to build a database server and I could not access it from outside there was some specific thing that was blocking when I ran this it fixed it so that's one tool you can use from PDQ to fix your things uh, another way of this one is the heartbeat this will tell you if the computer is up or down or like I explained that in detail another tools that it has it comes with is basically if you right click with it and you go to tools right here it gives you multiple tools now some of these are just accessing like you know other tools in a window so it makes it easier what is the main thing about inventory system is that it gives you an easier way of you know getting to the computer actually that is the and then of course it gives you its own features and everything but the because there are other tools that you can you can use to remote into machines so if, let's say for example you have two thousand machines right here or maybe uh, 100 machines in there even if you have one tool that can access one computer at a time it's still a hard thing to keep track of these machines so if you have something like this in one area all you have to do is to right click and then use another tool that is just basically getting like using the windows tool so with, for example event viewer if I had to log in and check something in that machine I can just right click and now see it's on that machine I can go check the logs what's going on with the application security and things like that right so that you can do with this so you can do manage uh, PDQ deploy another tool from uh, uh, from admin arsenal you can use that you can remote uh, reboot the computer shut down the computer uh, you can remote assist if you have that availability remote command is another powerful tool that I really really love in this I mean this is important for probably system administrators because sometimes you want to gather information rather than just deploying things or doing something with a computer you want to gather information right from that computer now CMD uh, is pretty powerful you know you can do anything with CMD and PowerShell right so if you click on here they have PowerShell but you have to buy that but still CMD should work for you one example that I can give you what if I want to get an IP address of that computer of course I can right click and do inventory and things like that but this is just an example it might not be just an IP config type of command it could be something that is very technical that needs to go out and look for the log and and copy the log somewhere so you can use any command in here that is applicable to CMD so let's say for example if I do IP config and run so I'm sitting on a different computer 64 bit machines but I'm getting an IP address of 32 bit machines it'll just go out write the command and there you go you got it in this window that is pretty powerful you can actually run a command like this on all of the machines like this or all three of them right click on it go to tools go to remote command and here type IP config now what if you want to do something with those computers you can also do it from the command now let's say for example you deploy a group policy that everybody everyone in this building 300 machines they will not use USB anymore so you created the group policy but you want to force it on that computer right now uh, you're not you don't want to wait for it to restart so you can have you can do that too. see how I ran a command on three computers I can just move this mouse and see it's giving me different IP address of each machines right here again if I want to do like you know uh, GP update which is like a group policy um, force so if I do GP update right here slash force and I click run it's basically gonna go out and right now all of these machines are getting updated imagine the time that it can save you of course th this information is pretty cool for someone new new to IT 
what if you were going there to computer and you were doing GP slash update and now you have this availability that you can go out and just you know run this command from one single place and 300 machines will have the group policy updated maybe your manager told you to go out and do this and now if you know this you can do this like in few seconds you see how quickly I did GP update on three computers right there that's why I really love this and like I said this can become very good tool for you if you are a system administrator and you trying to get to something a specific application on that machine run a command gather gather the information but you not only want to gather the information you want to copy that so this is why it's important to use this type of um, of course you can have other systems I'm not talking about that you can use uh, sys internal uh, they have the tools Microsoft have the tool uh, all other uh, companies have small tools but we're just specifically talking about tools from PDQ so this is one of their powerful um, feature right there so now after this video we are going to add another uh, demo uh, that is going to be also part of this video which which how do you use inventory system with VNC so for example if I right click on this and I want to get on that machine I want to help a user in a real world environment you might get a call you're a help this person you get a call and you say uh, somebody's asking you to can you help me with this computer but I have to leave at five o'clock um, so you know can you get on my machine and just do this work and then when I come tomorrow it should be done yes you can do that right you can call the person you can do the remote desktop with them like you know using our online tools and stuff like that but in, in a let's say we're talking about a building or two that is connected to Active Directory and domains so in that you can access that computer directly by using the RDP right one way to do is that but if you what if you have multiple computers that you have to do this stuff you don't want to use RDP that much then maybe it's gonna be tricky again yes you can use other tools but we're specifically talking about PDQ in inventory so to do this on PDQ inventory you need another tool which is called VNC viewer uh, server so what we're gonna do is right click go to tools and do VNC right here see VNC viewer not found so to do this on that computer see right here I already gave this but it's not working I uninstalled it to show you guys how to do this so now what our goal is this you're a help desk administrator and you have 50 computers in this building in this building they don't have something to do like you know remote desktop kind of thing you can do remote desktop from computer but they want something with PDQ inventory to do this let's go ahead and install VNC server so you'll go to VNC site so let me show you where, where to go so here's a site you go to vnc.com here you click on download you click on ultra VNC and once you click on ultra VNC you will click on download the, the latest version right here you'll click you'll go down and pick the 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your machine so mine is 64-bit I'm gonna click download on it and once I download it I'll accept the agreement and then I'll get this application so then you'll double click on this click run I'm going to click yes click OK click agreement next next and here I want to use uh, server I don't want anything else so I just need server I'm gonna click ne next and I'm going to use the start or restart ultra VNC service register ultra VNC server as system service this is important because if someone leaves the computer and you can even see when they log off you can even see that screen also so it's a pretty powerful as soon as the computer starts you can access that computer so you don't have to do that other things you know with the computer so the person doesn't have to be in front of that computer actually so once you register this you click next and I'm going to uncheck this and finish so right now ultra VNC should be running and if we go to right click here go to task manager go to services sometimes in your task manager you might see something like this so you have to do more details go to services and see right here it's running okay another thing that I want to make sure if you go to ultra VNC server search for it open it you see right here this little I think popped up right click on it go to admin properties 
make sure you um, you can use any password in here so I'll use one two three four for VNC and one two three four five for just viewing the computer but I'm not going to use this just keep this in safe place I'm going to use domain username and password because in realistically if you have 50 machines you don't want to be doing passwords things because if something happens if there's a security flaw or something like that and they want you to upgrade this VNC and something bad happens then you need to do the password changing on all the machines so I recommend you guys use the domain admin user password so if you click here check this box check this one and do configure logon groups and then click yes in most cases you will type domain admin so anybody in the help desk team or IT team can access but we have lab user as a domain administrator we just clicked on it you just click here lab user search for it ok give it permission click ok click apply and then what you want to do is click yes and then click ok alright and now we're going to click yes so right now the service is running now we're gonna go back so let's say some sometimes you'll you'll go here and on this machine you also need to install VNC so we're going to install VNC just a viewer not a server so click yes this is the machine that is running PDQ inventory so I'm gonna click next next and then uncheck the server viewer only click next next and this one you don't need the service for this one just install it and it's basically installed right now on this machine also we're going to get finish if you go back ultra VNC is in program uh, program files so that's a 64 bits of program files right here ultra VNC this is the pad that you need this one right here so you can either copy this or just go here to inventory right here go to tools actually go to file go to preferences go to remote control right here and then type the um, the path here or you can just go here and go to the program file VNC and double click on VNC viewer right here and then close it now watch if I right click on app server I'm not on app server I'm on 64 bit machine I have inventory system installed on this machine and I want to now um, basically um, control app server so right click on it go to tools go to VNC and you see it's asking me for password now but you don't want this how to fix this you need to go back right click on it go to task manager and here restart the service now this is only one time because every time your computer restarts it should be fixed in if you have domain issues or something like that then you can use that password but right now it's restarted if I go back now cancel this right click on it again tools VNC you see it's asking me for username and password here all I have to do is to type my lab user my domain password so if I change my password then I don't have to worry about VNC passwords alright it's rejected so oh I need to put a HQ in there I guess let's try that HQ lab user or maybe I did put a wrong password no there you go guys so that's it this is how you can control the machine now the person can leave the office I can be there and doing all the restarts on the machine still I'll access that computer now of course you're going to be doing this with other machines uh, you can put it in the image and then you can do that or you can deploy using PDQ deploy and deploy the the server with the services and all that and all these machines will have the same settings and all you have to do when you get a call next time I'm having an issue or maybe these five computer needs a software or maybe some specific setting needs to be done that you cannot deploy or do any scripting anything like that all you have to do is right click go to tools VNC and bam you're in that computer of course this one don't have that server running so it's not gonna work but again um, that's how you do the you can use a PDQ with other tools PDQ inventory with uh, these little settings it can really really help you make your life easy when you start working on it you'll find more and more stuff in it thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in a different video